Hello, my name is Heather. I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to be doing a junk journal with me. This is episode 15. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos and let's get right to it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scotch create glue stick and this piece of napkin and I'm just going to glue this down to the page. And you can use Mod Podge or you can use glue, it doesn't really matter. And in this video, I'm just going to show you some really cool ways and things that you can do for your memory keeping. Okay, so the next step is I have this picture and I, I cut out a little frame with um, my little frame cutter and I'll put a link to that in the description box. But um, so I'm just going to take some double sided tape and glue that on. And this is a picture of me and my fiance. His name is Sam. I've got a lot of questions and, and messages about us getting engaged and we are engaged and he is precious. And so I'm going to put this picture of us. I think we were, we were at Johnny's pizza, I think in this picture. And so I'm going to put that and then I have this sticker that says thankful. And I'm going to use that and put it underneath the picture. And I always use like a little bit of glue on any of my stickers or washi tape because I, I feel like they don't, the sticky doesn't really last that long. So just to be sure that will stay forever. Next step is I have this cool uh, photo thing and I think that uh, the original was like a Tim Holtz thing you know those vintage people and I just covered it with gesso and then I took uh, pictures from my Fomeo printer and I put my own pictures on it and just kind of outlined it with the marker and I am stapling that down with my tiny attacher and these are pictures of me and Sam and our sweet babies Doc and Bella And then I'm going to take this little piece of ephemera and it says you are loved and I am going to glue this down. Or you can use like double sided tape. I think I use double sided tape for this. And then my best friend Holly sent me these uh, really sweet butterflies in a happy mail and they're really cool. She did like some mixed media work and then cut the butterflies out. I'm going to stick those on my page just for some extra decoration. And then I'm just going around with my vintage photo on the side of the frame um, and just kind of shading it a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, so the next step is to have this sweet little card. And this actually came um, in a gift that Sam gave me. And this is something cool that you can do in your journals is to keep things like when you get gifts, like little cards or uh, little pieces of um, tags or things that come inside the gift are always really awesome for your journal. And so I saved this so I could put it in my journal. Um, and I wrote a little uh, bit about what Sam gave me, these candles and, um, and what it meant to me and stuff like that. So now I'm going to be putting this little doily down. And I got this um, doily in Johanna's shop. And she's got some really cool doilies and stuff that you can use in your journals. So definitely check out her shop. And I'm just using some art glitter glue to glue this down. And then here is the candle and what I did is I printed this on photo paper and then I just cut it out and um, I'm going to glue this on top of the doily. These candles are really, really beautiful and they smell really, really good. And then above this, I'm going to leave that blank and I'm going to do some journaling off camera. I'm going to write more about it, but I want to do that off camera. So, but you can see where I have journaling space. Okay. So Sam also bought me a sweet blanket. Um, and it had all these really cool words on it. Like, um, beautiful words like faith and glory and love and and so this little piece of cardstock came inside of the the blanket so I cut it in squares and I'm just gonna do a little page and keep every single one of them because I just think they were all really sweet and I wanted to hold on to them and then on the right side I'm gonna leave myself journaling space to talk about the blanket that he bought me and um, what it meant to me and stuff like that. But I'm going to do that off camera too. Then the next step is I have this sweet little sticker that says grateful and I'm just going to stick that down on this little card. And here is my spread. I think it turned out really, really sweet. I hope you found this video to be helpful and gave you some ideas of things that you can use in your journal. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos. I also have some journals available for sale in my Etsy shop if you're interested, and I'll see you guys next time.